this video we are going to learn how to use the query designer to build queries quickly. So, link up to management uh, studio here, right click in the window. If you don't have this, then you may have not just this. So click new query, right click, and then choose uh, design query and editor. Choose the table. Close this little window, and now it's design a query in here. All right. Now be, look very carefully at what happens. So, say you want the first column. What you can do is choose name. You can alias it from here. So you can, for example, write first name like that. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to sort on it, you can. You can click here and, for example, choose uh, descending. And if you, this is the first one you want to sort on, then choose this to be one, right? Like that. You see. So there's our simple query. Select name as first name from table one, ordered by the first name. All right, let's do another. Let's choose money earned. So let's do this. Choose title. I'll use that as employee title. Right. Let's say you don't want to sort on that, so leave that blank. And let's also choose money earned. I'll use that as salary. <clears throat> All right, if you want to sort on this, you can. So say you want to do it in ascending. And if you want the notice that right now, if you sort on salary, salary comes second. So if you want to change the sort order, so it will, it will first go by salary, then by first name, descending, just click here and choose unsorted like that, uh, rather one. And hit enter. Okay, and it will switch the sort order automatically. You see, so now we will first sort on money earned and then sort on name, or first name in this case. You see, notice that it builds our query down below. Now we can also apply filters. So we'll say the filter to be applied is where money is less than, say, Two hundred thousand, or greater than one hundred thousand. Okay, there you go. So notice that it builds the query nicely piece by piece. Any modification you make here is made down in the code window. And further, notice that up here in this little window, it tells you Z to A. So that means we are sorting a name. See that? Sort table one dot name descending and then two means we sort on this one second. Over here, if you look, it says sort table one dot money earned ascending, and there's a one after it, which means that this is the first field we sort on. And there's also a little funnel next to it. So remember that function of the where statement is to select only certain records. Okay, that's what the funnel means. You're funneling all of the data sets, right? You're funneling away a lot of it, and you're just focusing in a certain subset. That's what the meaning is of the where statement. And if you have your mouse, it says criteria. Money earned less than 200,000. Money earned more than 100,000. All right, so click OK. And it brings the whole query in here, formatting it. Notice the for formatting is a little different. Now what you can do if you don't like this query, you can right-click, it will si <coughs> select it first, right-click it, and then choose Design Query and Editor, and it brings it back into the app, into the editor, you see? Now let's execute this. When you execute it, it runs as expected. There you go. Now furthermore, if you want to make modifications by hand, like you don't like this, then you can delete it by hand and execute the query and it still works. Um, if you just right click without highlighting and choose design query editor it tries to make a new query so highlight it then right click and design query and editor and it gives you the query. See? There you go. Uh, just keep in mind also that if you make any changes to the appearance like that for example, a simple change like this And if you do this, right click and highlight and design query and editor. See down below here, it restores the original formatting. And if you want, you can you know, even 
mixing your own code. Take a look. DBO dot and then table underscore one. So highlight all of this. Well, first of all, execute it. You see it runs. You highlight it and right click and go to design query and editor. See that? Even though you put DBO underscore the DBO that uh, table underscore one, when you bring it up here, you see how it shows table underscore one again. So you be careful, right? If sometimes you get weird things that you don't understand, keep in mind there's a slight difference in the appearance in the code. So click OK. And then it restores it back to this. So it does, you know, be careful because in this case it's actually changed the modification you made. There you go. To something that works, obviously. It's not going to hopefully change, change it in a way that breaks it. It just changes it, I think, in a way that in general is safe to change. Alright, so but you've seen how to use this. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.